today we're going to read a story called The Grouchy Ladybug and it's written and the pictures are done by Eric Carlaw. And you guys, there's a part in here where the grouchy ladybug, he kind of says the same thing a lot. So as we go through the story, you can help me when we get to that part. You'll figure out what it is as we start reading. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up and a friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have it some for breakfast. But just then, the grouchy ladybug flew in from the right and it too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on someone bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew away. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its giant stinger. Oh, no, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew away. At seven o'clock, the grouchy ladybug saw a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? Uh, if you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its giant jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you! said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough either, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew away. At nine o'clock, the grouchy ladybug came across a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew away. At 10 o'clock, the grouchy ladybug saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching out his claws. Oh, you're not big enough either, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew away. Oh my. At 11 o'clock, the grouchy ladybug bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? <laughs> if you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, no, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And he flew away. At 12 noon, the grouchy ladybug spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? <laughs> if you insist, said the snake, right after my lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At one o'clock, 
the ladybug happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily, showing its giant teeth. Oh, no, you're not big enough either, said the grouchy ladybug. And he flew off again. At two o'clock, the grouchy ladybug met a gorilla. Hey, you, shouted the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating his chest. Oh, no, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And he flew away. Hmm. There's a ladybug. He's very tiny. At three o'clock, the ladybug ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering his horn. Oh, no, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And he flew off. At four o'clock, do you see the ladybug? He's so tiny. At four o'clock, the ladybug encountered a elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, no, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And he flew away. Do you think he's ever going to find someone big enough? Oh, at five o'clock, the grouchy ladybug met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? But the whale didn't answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you, you want to fight? But there was no answer, so he flew off. At 12.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you! You want to fight? But he still got no answer. So he flew on. At quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said, Hey, you! You want to fight? To the whale's tail. And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. And at six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived back where he had started his day. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are plenty of aphids left. You can have some for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and very hungry ladybug. Soon, the aphids were all gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You're welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. All right, now I'm going to teach you how to make some ladybugs of your own. So the first thing you're going to do is take your red marker. I have my red marker, even though it looks like it's black color is red and I'm gonna make a big red circle might not be a perfect circle but you can just make the best circle that you can make and then you're gonna color it all in with your red because ladybugs are usually all red I think there's some that are orange 
there are different kinds of there's different kinds of ladybugs. So you're gonna color it all in. And then after you got it all colored in and it looks nice and red, you're gonna take your black marker. This one, the cap is black, so I know it's black. And you're gonna make a line right down, let's go this way, make it down the middle like that. That's gonna be his wings. But he also needs a head, so I'm gonna make part of a circle up here and color that all in with black so that looks like his head. And maybe you can give him some little antennas. You could even give him some little legs if you wanted to. And then the ladybug needs his spots. So you're gonna make lots of black spots on his back. You can make a bunch of little spots. You can make some big spots. I'm gonna give mine four spots on each side of his wings. All right, and then after you have your ladybug all drawn and colored in, you can take your scissors and you can cut around all around the outside. So then you have ladybugs that look like these. Okay, then I want you to take a green marker and you're gonna take a new piece of paper and you're gonna make lots of big green lines. So it looks like this. What do you think I'm making? Anybody have a guess? Make lots of green lines. What does it look like? They don't even have to be perfect. They can go all different directions. Just make them go from the bottom up like this. Any guesses what it is? It's my tall grass. And then you can take your glue and you're gonna glue your ladybugs all over your pitcher. So it looks like that. Mine are kind of all different sizes, so I could put them from smallest. I think he's the smallest. We could put the smallest one here. Those two are almost the same size. Let's put them there and then we'll put the biggest one there. So I want you guys to each make as many ladybugs as you are old. So if you are five, I want you to make five ladybugs for your grass. If you're four, make four. If you're three, make three. If you're two, make two. Or if you wanna make more, you can. So have fun and make sure to post your pictures on the AKP Facebook page because we would love to see your projects. All right, have fun. Miss you guys.